Welcome back. I am Nastasia Thomas. This is a part three of a three part video. And at the end of this video, you should be able to pluck and bleach the knots on your closure, wash and style your hair. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned. First thing we're going to do to complement this wig is to pluck the hairline. As you can see, the hairline is just straight across. Now we will have to go in with our tweezers to customize it. You can look at your airline in the mirror and customize it accordingly. You can do whatever you feel. This is how I do. So I part like a half a inch or less backwards and then pluck from the back forward. It is also important to stop and look to see what you're doing just so that you don't over pluck your closure. That will be such a mess. I don't have a specific technique when doing my baby hair. In a matter of fact, I'm really terrible at doing them. But at the same time, it's best to do them long and gradually cut them down shorter than to just go in short at once because that that's that will mess everything up for you so you can spray the brush or spray some water on the lace and this will help you to manipulate the baby hairs and put them in the order in which you want them to be as you can see now i'm pretty much struggling because this is not something that i'm good at but i'm going through and cutting you know them shorter just to fit my needs and you can do the same So we're going for a really thick paste because we don't want the mixture to seep through the lace. If that happens, then the root of the hair will bleach, which means that it will turn to probably orange or blonde and we don't want that. We only want to remove the dark knots on the lace. So I'll be using a knife to slightly spread the mixture across the lace. Please make sure that you don't use much force to get this done. Because if you push the product too hard on the lace or place it too hard on the lace, then it will seep through the lace and bleach the, the roots of the hair. And you only want the knots on the closure to be bleached. So after that is done, I let mine sit for about 10 minutes. But during the 10 minutes, I check like every two minutes to see how the change is coming along. If you want a faster result you can either put it in a scandal bag or put a scandal bag over it or put file paper on it
so now I'm using my curling wand to wand the hair uh, this one gives it a really nice bouncy curls but to maintain those curls you shouldn't manipulate the curls while it's still hot so you'd have to wait until it cooled down so what I'm going to do is release the hair and then pin it in place and let it sit so I'm going to do the entire head like that and once it is done I'll come back This is the end of our three-part video. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment, share, and subscribe.